is that shit or oh, 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 problem oh for fuck okay so morning in Bielskobiawa. last time i showed you how it's gonna how the city looks when actually no one is here and today is the friday before the easter so i hope there will be some people today so i will show you the whole day of the street photography Dzień dobry. so i will show you the whole day of the street photography uh, in a much more busy day in Bielskobia. So still, we are in the small city. We need to keep that in mind. The whole day, since morning till at least noon, where it should be busy, people are preparing to the Easter, people are getting um, groceries, people are doing shopping, people are going uh, here and there. So at least we should have more busy streets than on the latest last video that I showed you. So let's go do some street photography. And if you ask about the gear, um, traditionally with the Leica camera, with the SL2S 28 millimeters, and um, let's document some life in the oh come on in the city. Um, to be honest, I expected a bit more people here on the on the Bielsko, but after first couple of hundred meters or first couple of hundred steps, it's pretty empty. I've counted more on you, Bielsko. The sun is actually pretty, pretty. The, the weather today is amazing. So, oh yeah, you can see it. It's also the first cup day, so the weather is actually amazing. And you know that I like this word, and I will be saying that a lot. And okay, so. What we learned previously that you can do the street photography in smaller city. Absolutely you can. It's not that easy because you know the... Okay, I'm changing to the shadow. Come on, Sony. Will you do it? Yeah, exposed to my face. Yeah. So there is actually, you know, in the Warsaw... Oh, you can't see shit. That's What's, what's going on? Um, so in the places like Warsaw, Katowice and Krakow, there is a ton of people, uh, despite the day when, when you are on the streets. In Bielsko it's much harder, so um, especially when you are... Oh, the, the frame is running away. So actually when you are... Uh, so actually working full time, I'm trying to do some... Uh, try I'm taking two days... Try I'm, I'm trying to take some days off to be able to do some street shots. and. The, special days like this before the Christmas before the Easter before other and before the other um, you know uh, events that are happening because that's the time where people are uh, when people are going the, here and there and people are doing some some preparations to the family events so um, okay let's go some further I can see that it's not that busy I counted to be more busy but at least we have the weather so F11, 1, 1000 over a second, ISO like 4 to, to 640, 400 to, to 640 and... Uh, okay, let's let's meet some people, let's do some street shots. And I will show you the how the empty Bielsko is actually. Wait a second.
Proszę, czy potrzebuje Pani pomocy? Bardzo bym prosiła, ale jest bardzo ciężki. Ale no ja sobie dam radę, ja jestem duży, także sobie poradzę. So I'm standing in front of uh, Bielsko-Bia Castle as you can see and actually I really counted that there will be much more life here in Bielsko today. I will be now going to the castle, I will be going to the city walls, let's see if there is someone. Um, later on we'll go back the same route probably, I will get, I will go uh, very close to Bielsko-Bia Theatre, check the, check the roads, roads, yeah, check the paths here. And there, there is here is something happening. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, probably go and ask. So uh, at least I have some shots with the highlights and shadows and the the play around. So till now, not much stories, not much stories. I would say not many stories. Um, so see you in a couple of minutes or something like that. See ya. So you see that there are there are stories on the streets and the stories will always have you found even if I am mumbling here there even though if I was mumbling there there is no stories on the street the story found me so uh, the only valid measurement of the street photography quality is the number of steps you did yeah so um, I have a frame here Yep. Here is the the frame. That's something that you don't meet up in Bielsko very often. So I guess I'm not too close, no. So I guess we need to talk a bit about the gear I used because this is 
third movie. Th movie, yeah, it's like a cinema. This is like a third video that I'm doing, and you see me see me using the Leica SL2S, the green edition, the Hulk edition. I'm not sure. Oh, it's not called Hulk. It should be called Hulk, not the reporter edition. It doesn't have any in common with the reporters, I guess. So um, I'm taking you. I am taking you with me to the bench, and let's talk about a gear. Learning it that way. So even though I'm a like a fanboy, you could see me using various cameras since. I use Pentax, I use Leica M10, I use Canon R6, Canon RP. Right now I'm recording on the Sony ZV-E1. Even though I thought that I won't be buying any Sony camera, but I mean, but I am. And the uh, latest addition to my collection is actually the Leica SL2S Reporter Edition. I was not a big fan of the Leica SL2 or SL series. It looked for me like a normal, usual... I need to... I need to hold my cap. Uh, it looked for me like a normal, usual uh, mirrorless camera, which doesn't have any soul, to be honest. I used Canon R6, which is the great camera, which technically is probably the best camera that I have used. But when it comes to the technology, when well, other ways, uh, other way around, when it comes where when it comes to the photography, the technology and the technology perfection is absolutely. Um, not everything, so I was always looking for a, some kind of special cameras. So for me, Leica M10 is a is a special camera, you know, because it, it I know it sounds absolutely strange. It have a soul. It have a also soulless absolutely price tag. Even to this day, uh, when the M11 M11P comes out, the M10 still is very expensive camera. But to be honest, it's one of the best cameras that I ever used and uh, the DJI turned off and when it comes to and I really like the image in in a couple of days actually or even a couple two weeks maybe you will see my long-term review of the M10 uh, which I recorded in my studio oh I need to hold that yeah uh, which I recorded in my studio so we'll hear a couple of the words why I love the M10, uh, not only for being expensive and looking nice. It's a nice looking item. It's a really, really nice looking item. So I love it for, for a couple of reasons. And to be honest, the most important for me is the image. Like it's not the, stellar, it's not the you know, stellar image quality or absolutely uh, high tech, very saturated Sony images that you can get from A7 series. But it has some organic look for me to me and don't get me wrong it's not organic look like you get from the film emulsion it's absolutely not the it's absolutely not that but it has some really organic look to me and uh, since then I did a couple of portrait shoots with the M10 of course I use it on streets I use it uh, in this theater I did some uh, reportage with it uh, and I told the story of the concert which were happening here in, in here in theater in Bielskobiawa and I told the story from the backstage. So looking at this camera, looking on these images, uh, I like everything about it, how it renders the images. And I know it's not only, of course, it's most of it, it's, or, or many of it, it's, you know, it's an advantage of using proper lenses, but not everything is coming from the lenses. And even using the same lenses over the Canon R6 didn't give me the image look I, I was looking for. So uh, I decided to go full Leica. My very good friend Pavel bought original SL. Uh, and of course, previously he bought the Pentax cameras, which he is responsible for my addiction and buying Pentax K3 Mark III monochrome. That's your fault, Pavel. That's absolutely your fault. You're responsible for me losing money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, I was looking to the Leica SL. I I've took the, the original SL to the hand and I was absolutely looking more and more over the SL cameras. Oh, the wind. Good, I have the dead cat. I was looking on the market to get a used uh, SL2S camera and um, 
To be honest, I'm really fond of this Leica Reporter Special Editions SL cameras, Q cameras and of course the M10 Reporter Edition. They are absolutely stunning, they are very very beautiful, beautiful cameras. And I, first of all I wanted to get a Q2. I wanted to get a Q2 Reporter Edition. Later on I, would, uh, I was thinking about the Q2 Reporter Edition Monochrome. Uh, but finally, when the SL2S in green uh, came out, I decided that I should pull a trigger. So knowing that I will buy the SL camera probably because I want to have some kind all-arounder with the weather ceiling, which is built like a tank, which can use autofocus lenses for the studio work, which can be used with the perfect use for with the manual lenses. Uh, I knew that the green SL2S is actually, is actually for me. I was cheating myself, to be honest, uh, uh, more part of the last year, that I don't need that. And of course, I don't need that, but I wanted that. So I put the trigger and now I have green SL2. And uh, you will see more this camera over this channel and uh, definitely you will see some review, but I need to, I need to spend more time with it. So um, let's do some coffee break and then let's go shooting more. See ya.
so I will end this video here. Uh, you will see right now the slideshow, the photos that I did during this walk. And this is the daily struggle of the street photographer's life. So yeah, um, see you in the next one. Bye.